So let's start as a high level command with the Butterworth filter. So the Butterworth filter has um, as a feature it's monotonic. So this means there's no there are no ripples where the filter goes up and down or something like that. So if this is here H of J omega then the filter essentially just goes like this. And so we have somewhere somewhere our omega C here and before that it's reasonably flat and then it has a monotonic transition here. And so then it has only poles, no zeros, and it's um, standard analog filter. So how do we create our filter here in Octave or MATLAB? And that's very simple. So these are our digital filter coefficients. And we just write butter and then n comma fc. And this creates us a butterworth low pass filter. So that's a filter order. Essentially how many delay steps we're getting in our digital filter and this is a cutoff frequency. So let's try this. So let's say as an example we set F to or FC to 0 0.1 and let's say our n we set this to four and let's see how this how this looks like so let's move this here a bit up then we see our command here so that's b comma a and then butter and then four comma o point one so now we've got our frequency z command here. So let's first do this like this here, frequency z. And then, um, so we just put our b comma a in this here. And, and then we're creating our frequency vector here. Just to test how this 0.1 maps onto our frequencies here. Lin space from 0 to 0.5 and then the length of h so plot x f comma ups of h so that's our frequency response here and as i said so the frequency in our proper normalized frequencies here this is now at at 0 0.05 and um, this is because MATLAB or Octave uses 1 as a Nyquist frequency and not 0 0.5 so and therefore this all needs to be remapped here so just as a as a word of caution here so this FC here 0 0.1 is in MATLAB or Octave convention con convention and so so essentially this FC here this is um, two times higher than the normalized frequencies we used before so we need to be careful here so this means that one corresponds to to the Nyquist frequency Let's move this a bit away here so that we have this here. Okay, so so now we know 
how much more octave deals with that. So now I'm using using this frequency Z command here without the H. And then let's see what we get through this. And without the any output here, this command generates us these three plots here. And so we so the um, pass band is generated here, then the reaction in the stop band here at 0.1 and then the phase here. And so we see now in this here, if we use this command in this way, the Nyquist frequency is indeed one. And um, and so the so the one the frequency of 0.1 matches here. So therefore, just again as a word of caution here. Yeah, so if we are using using frequency Z with B comma A like this, then this the plots are in MATLAB slash octave convention. as well. Again, just as a word of caution before we proceed to this and I'm going to use this command now more often in this form. But um, before I've been always using the output of the frequency that command and generated my frequency axis for this year. I will just use it as it is because it gives us quite nice plots and we compare these filter responses easier. So that's for the Butterworth filter.